gather together in and with your spirit. Bow your heads and come before. Come before. Especially for all. We are reminded by the Lord today. God has no man. Yes, also. loving and merciful. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to so pray for me to the Lord our God. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We still have many things to thank God. And let all give praise and glory to God. Glory to God. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King. O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Learn the lessons. My dear, for living God, in the abundance of kindness, surpass the merits and the desires of those who treat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon the conscience and threats. Give what prayer. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, reigns. One God, ever and Amen.
partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air. And he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all wild animals. But none proved to be suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one, at last, is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man. This one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one flesh. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. Behold, thus is the man, blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. May the Lord bless us all the days of our lives. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, he for a little while was made lower than the angels, that by the grace of God he might taste death, everyone. For it was fitting that he, for whom and through whom all things exist, in bringing many children to glory, should make the leader of their salvation perfect through suffering. He who consecrates and those who are being consecrated all have one origin. Therefore, he is not ashamed to call them brothers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Some Pharisees came up and as a test began to ask Jesus whether it was permissible for a husband to divorce his wife. In reply, he said, What command did Moses give you? They answered, Moses permitted divorce and writing of a decree of divorce. But Jesus told them, He wrote that commandment for you because of your stubbornness. At the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother, and the two shall become one. They are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, let no man separate what God has joined. Back in the house again, the disciples began to question him about this. He told them, Whoever divorces his wife and marries another commits adultery against her. And, he, and the woman who divorces her husband and marries another, commits adultery. People were bringing their little children to him to have him touch them, but the disciples were scolding them for this. Jesus became indignant when he noticed it and said to them, Let the children come to me and do not hinder them. It is just such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. I assure you that whoever does not accept the kingdom of God like a little child shall not enter into it. Then he embraced them and blessed them, placing his hands on them. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of our salvation. Joel Malbas from Palawan and assigned to Mexico, Cuba, eventually. Our gift to the world, we were gifted to give. Brothers and brothers, we begin with a simple prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest. That I may share with humility and with the heart, not just with the lips, and that people listen with their heart, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit, come, Holy Spirit. Amen, Lord. So, dear friends, let me start saying. I turned 68 last October 1. So, St. Therese of the Child Jesus, patroness of the mission. Uh, gawa kayo ng rhyme. 68, feeling great at 68. Pwede. No regrets at 68. Ilan? Uh, Father Conrad, ilan taon na po kayo? Huh? 48, yan. Si Father Eugene, anong 30? Feeling uh, groovy at 30. Yung mga ganun ba? Gawin natin ng rhyme. And uh, you know, let me just share with you, the first thing I did as, uh, October 1 was to kneel down, as I always do in the morning, to kneel down and say thank you. Thank you, Lord, I'm still alive. And as my usual ritual, um, you know, you wash your face, and I always look at the mirror. Every day makes somebody happy, di ba? Ano kang dapat mapasaya every day? Simulan mo sarili mo. When you look at the mirror in the morning, umiti ka. Tapos sabi ko last 
Friday, oh. Walang lang namang bumabati pa sa atin. Di. Batiin mo sarili mo. Kumanta ako. Sabi ko, Happy birthday to you. 68 na tayo. 67 ako last year. 69 na next year. Oh. Napangiti ka na. Salamat po. Mga kapatid, ito lang po ah, during this pandemic. Alam natin, alam ko, 67 ako last year. Tapos na yan. State ako ngayon. 69 ako next year. I don't know. Wala pong nakakaalam sa atin kung mararating pa natin yung sunod na birthday na. So what are we saying here? Just be grateful. Don't worry kung makarating ka pa ng 69. That's not the point here. You decide to make every day the best day. Kung saan ka man maparoon, basta every day. Yun lang po ang aking wish for all of you mga kapatid. Be grateful every day. And you know what? I am grateful next to the Lord. I am grateful for my parents. Let's offer our mass today. Alalahanin natin mga magulang natin their hard work, their sacrifices. Marami silang pinagdaanan para sa atin. May God bless and reward them. And yun na lang pong they stuck it out with its other through thick and thin. Yun po. Today, especially, the gospel is about what God has put together. Let no man put asunder. Stay together. Dami po sa mga couples na nakikinigan, I know maraming pinagdaanan. Mga away-away, halos maghiwalay. Pero kayo pa rin. Mga paghihirap sa buhay, yet, you continued. Temptations, sickness, wala. Walang nakapaghiwalay sa inyo. Pag-ibig ng Diyos. So we humbly Thank God, the source of all love. Yung gracia po ng Panginoon. You know, marriage, a commitment is not just between two people. It is sealed with God's love. That's what it means. Salamat po to all the married people. And thank you, Lord. And um, I have one simple sharing with you. I share with you the, a picture of my mama. Ah, well, my papa, I don't have a picture right now, but ito, whenever I look at the picture of mama, I won't go, I'm just smiling, I'm happy, because I'm reminded of all the love, the sacrifices she and papa did. Today, will you please look at the picture of your mother, your father, and just be grateful. A picture can paint a thousand words. Ito pong challenge. Sana years from now, yung mga anak nyo, mga apo nyo, they will still look at your picture at matutuwa pa rin sila at mapapangiti pa rin sila. Baka naman ayaw nilang makita na yung picture mo, naging malupit ka sa kanila, naging masama ka. Please keep that in mind. May your children and your grandchildren carry that love in their hearts. And it all begins, mga kapatid po, sacrifice. Why is the church saying no, no divorce? Anuman, I know this is a very unpopular uh, stand of the church, but the church will always say no, hindi pa rin. And in fact, if I'm not mistaken, dito sa Pilipinas, tayo na lang yatang walang divorce law. All over the world, or was there some other? But please, you know why? What is the bottom line? Oh yeah, siyempre maraming mga human rights, I am entitled to my fine. The next line, the gospel, after talking about divorce, Jesus says, Let the children come to me. Para sa mga bata. Everybody has spoken about contraception, about abortion, lahat about divorce, except, except the innocent children and the unborn. 
So this is why this, because once you open that gate, sunod-sunod na po lahat yan eh. So, we continue to, to really believe in the sanctity of personal desires. You just want to have fun, you just want to be free. Yeah, but how about, anong epekto sa mga bata? Let the children come to me. To such as these belong the kingdom of God. Alam po nyo, mayroong kwento nga po yung nag-date. Eh, nung magbabayaran na, sabi ng girl daw, oh, dapat ikaw magbayad. Kasi tignan mo, ito yung menu, oh. Tignan mo yung word menu, men, you, pay. Sabi naman ng lalaki, alam mo, kung titignan mo yung word na menu, me and you, pay. Together. Yan po ang problema eh. Kung hindi na maganda yung samahan, synchronize, wala na yung together. Come na, the next question is, me and you. Me and you against the world. Tama ba yun? Or you and me. You and me against the world. Sino na una? Me or you? Huwag na natin pag-usapan yan. Together nga eh. Together. Listen, brothers, saludo po ako sa mga mag-asawa all these years. Ang daming adjustments eh. Ang dami nang nag-give way, ganun. Give and take. Congratulations for your patience, perseverance, and prayer. Ito pong tatlo ang makakatulong sa samahan. You must pray, you must persevere, and you must be patient. Salamat po sa bang effort. Not only for your own sake, but for the sake of the children. By the way po, how is the pearl formed? Ang iba dyan na nangunod ngayon, maraming mga pearlas. Ano-ano mga borloloy. Alam niyo ba paano na-form daw yung pearl? Well, according to this story, a grain of sand, buhangin, comes inside that pearl. Two halves, dalawa yan eh. Pagpasok po ng buhangin yan, napakasakit, irritating yan. You know, talagang halos mag-give up na. But what does the shell do? Instead of breaking up, giving up, ang ginagawa po nila, they work on that grain of sand, patiently, lovingly, every day, sige lang. They work on it with so much love. Until after some time, that painful, irritating grain of sand has become precious. Naging perlas. Husbands and wives, whatever problems you have now, that is a potential pearl. Don't give up on each other. Remember yung kanta ninyo? Don't give up on us, baby. Yun. And then after some time, magkakaroon na ng your children are your pearls. Precious. And, mga kapatid, stay. Stay and don't give up on us, baby. By the way po, please don't forget, yung mga nag-golden jubilee na, meron po nakwento na maganda eh. I enjoy golden wedding anniversaries. One wedding anniversary, ganda no, yung kwan, yung Celebration. The next day, according to this story, breakfast na yung mag-asawa. Normal breakfast na. As was the habit of the husband, ito na, iniwan niya yung tinapay uli. For the past 50 years, ginagawa niya yun. And binigay niya yung dulo, dulo ng tinapay sa wife niya. Binigyan ng wife, binayang niya, sabi niya, no more, sabi niya, no more. For the past 50 years, palagi mong binibigay sa akin yung dulo ng tinapay na yan na sumabog na. Tahimik lang yung husband. Mumiti siya at sabi niya, magsitigil ka. May sasabihin ako sa'yo. Alam mo ba, my dear, all these years, gustong gusto ko yung dulo ng tinapay. Favorite ko yan eh, yung party na yan. 
that because of my love for you every day I say I start this day with love and sacrifice for my dear wife kaya binibigay ko yan every day sa'yo because I love him see love is sacrifice of course love is communication yan but one wedding anniversary hindi ko makalimutan naka wheelchair na nga po si husband eh nag renewal sila Pagdating ng renewal, yung nagsalita yung si, si Mrs. Alam mo, sabi, tiniis kita all these years. <laughs> Ito, ganun ka, kadiretso, no? Ang dami kang sinungaling, pagsisinungaling sa akin. Alam ko lahat yun. Sabi. Pero sabi niya, and this is a line I think she borrowed from us. But I decided to love you, stay with you. And I said, I'd rather go on living with your lies than go on living without you. Wow. Pet malu. And I asked the people there, ilan sa inyo mga misis, masasabi nyo yan, ibali na sa mga kasinungalingan mo, kaysa yung wala ka sa aking buhay. Siyempre, ay, naku, martyr naman yan, sobra naman yan. No, look, she made a decision. He made a choice. In spite of all the pains, that I'm going to stay, stand by you. Who are we to tell her, ay, mali yan, mali. She made a choice. She chose to love and sacrifice. But the choice. Every single day, you renew that, the vows you made. Okay? And mga kapatid, oh, pakicheck ka natin. Please, There are no perfect families. Wala pong perfect family. Pag sabi mo sa akin, Father, problem, wala kaming problema sa family namin. <laughs> Baka ikaw ang problema nila. There are only people who don't give up on each other. And for those who go through difficult beginnings, please don't give up. God is understanding Don't listen to what people are saying in judging you. They don't know mga pinagdaanan mo. And God in His wisdom, in His love, will embrace everyone. I, my heart goes to the children to start, or single mothers have to take care, naging tatay, nanay siya. Don't give up. God's grace. At walang perfect husband, perfect wife. Wala po. Oh, di ba? Yung rings of marriage, pakicheck nga po nyo. Unang ring nyo, nung kinasal kayo, engagement ring. Pagdating ng wedding day, wedding ring na. Oh. Tapos kasal na kayo, dumating na yung suffering. Tapos dumating na yung bed. Tapos dumating na yung ring. Boring. Ay, boring na father. Nako, mag-ingat yung mga husband. Wandering. Pilandering. Nako, yan ang magpapagulo sa buhay. Mga misis naman, domineering, squandering, paring. Don't forget the last three things, caring. Continue to be sweet. Go holding hands pa ba kayo? Dati pa na holding hands. Ngayon, nag-go holding hands sila, self-defense na lang. Diyan nagkakahawakan lang ka. <laughs> caring. Does your husband still open the car door? Little things may na lang, diba? Oh, pag nakakita ka raw ng husband na binubuksan yung sasakyan sa para sa misis, baka bago yung sasakyan na yon. <laughs> anyway, bukod po sa biro mga kapatid, stay caring, sweet. That's one of the things I, I noticed with my papa and mama, if I may share. They tried to be sweet through the years. Through the years. Ramdam mo eh. Naramdaman naman natin. Kung may away sila, I remember those times. Si Papa, nagtataas ng boys. No, but you know, nag-explain. Lawyer siya, kumisan. Nag- And Mama would say, oh, no, hindi naman, hindi naman. Ganon, nagpapakumbaba si Mama. At maya-maya, nag-sorry na. Importante po yan, the little things. Sharing. Number three, last, the last ring, sharing. Continue please to share. And please remember husbands and wives, the biggest sharing you have are the children you leave behind who will become good citizens, good, good 
persons, good Christians, Catholic. That's your greatest trophy. And finally, persevering. Don't give up, no matter what happens. And mga kapatid, please remember, time, again, wala nga pong perfect family. At tayo may cross. Remember, the husband who came home, in-embrace niya yung wife niya. O bakit mo ako in-embrace? Mula lang, sabi niya. Binuhat pa niya. Ano ka ba? Sabi ng wife. Bakit ba? Ano nga rin? Kagaling ko lang kasi sa recollection ni Father Jerome. Sabi niya eh, when you go home, embrace your cross. <laughs> Ay, embrace niya yung cross. And lift up your cross to the Lord, no? That's a story. But baka naman makakuha na naman ako ng anti-wife. Pero naman kwento yung namatay na husband. Tapang ganun. Eh, nang binababa na po kabaong, ah, natumba yung isang nagbubuhat, dumiretsa po yung kabaong, tumama sa pintuan. Bam! Bumukas yung... Nabuhay. Nabuhay yung hasban. Ay, nabuhay din nabuhay. Di nabuhay. <laughs> nabuhay. After six months po, namatay muli. Pero na namang lamay. Itong araw nang binababa na naman yung kabaong. Sabi ng misis, please, handahan lang ha, tahandahan lang. Baka tumama uli, baka mabuhay muli. <laughs> Yan ang kwandon. Eh. I'll ask you one simple question. When people think of you, ano yung pinagdadasal nila? Are they praying na sana mahaba pang buhay niya? Bait niya? Mga anak niyo, ganun dasal nila. Baka naman may nung nagdadasal na, Lord, unin mo na siya, Lord. Baka ganun, wag po. Pag ganun pong sinabi, better start thinking anong klaseng buhay. What kind of a life? Sisters and brothers, let me just end with a simple thought. Oh, by the way, people are dying. I have so many funeral Zoom masses. Iban pati po sa ICU, mga t- yun na lang, basta madinig lang. Mag- I remember one ICU moment. Ex-seminarian, Tony Aquino. Unconscious na siya. Eh. Yung kwan, I prayed anointing virtual. And I don't know I sang the Salve Regina. Any seminarian, for that matter, pag kinanta yung Salve Regina, Hail Holy Queen, Mother, mayroong kang chord na talagang ramdam mo yung pagmamahal ni Mama. I was almost in tears, crying alone, uh, singing alone for Tony, mending him to Mama Mary. I know he was not conscious, but I know I'm sure he was to sing it. Month of the Rosary na po tayo, October. As Mama Mary, pray the Rosary for the families. The family that prays together. And we pray panlaban sa COVID-19 na yan. Rosary. A grocery po tayo. Don't forget that. And uh, please remember today, all couples, may I invite you now to come and bow your heads. Couples who are Together now. Bow your head. If you can hold each other's hands, just feel this moment. Years ago, you met each other. Years ago, you decided to get married. Years ago, you had nothing. Any of you now, you've done very well. Years ago, you had no one. Kayo lang. Now you have children, you have grandchildren. Thank you. You have done very well. And years ago, you had God. You believe that by your best, all will be well. Kasama niyo siya. Salamat. Kasama mo pa rin niyo ang Panginoon ngayon. Marami ng pinagdaanan at kayo pa rin. So we remember with gratitude. Try to remember. 
that kind of September. Yes. Try to remember yung 60 pounds ka pa lang. Try to remember mahaba pang buhok ng Easter husband. A lot of things. Remember with gratitude. Rejoice. Yes. Second R is to rejoice. Salamat po. We're so grateful. Rejoice. We don't count what is missing. We count our blessings. And we you. So we renew the day before the Lord. Again, Lord, we renew our love for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. And again, I, invoking the Lord's blessing upon you, the authority of the church hereby confirm and bless again the bond of marriage you contracted years ago. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please don't forget, all of us have a mission. Congratulations. The groom makes the bride. I remember one uh, marriage renewal vows renewal in Cana, Cana, in the Holy Land. Yun, mga married couple, nag-renew. Yung mga byuda, mga byudo, yung mga walang sawa, nag, nag-review, nag-review na lang. Mga walang sawa talaga, nag-view na lang. Whatever, all of us have something to renew today. Whatever is your Whatever is your situation, whatever you choose, renew that. And I would like also to thank all of you, those who greeted, thank the birthday. I appreciate it. Please pray for me. I, I have no agenda except to bring the Lord's message of joy and love and hope, especially this time. I remember saying after I had my cancer, how the Lord helped me with St. Ezekiel Moreno. Ang, ang battle cry ko is simply this. The rest of my life, the best of my life. Sana po tayo lahat. Sana all. And for me, inspire for you expire. That's it. That's all. God be the glory. Thank you, Mama Mary. Amen. Now, press our faith as we pray. I believe one God. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Father, you raise marriage and family life into a living sacrament of your life and love, we pray to you that the bonds of love may grow stronger 
in and among us. In trust we pray, Lord of love, hear our prayer. May the church leaders continue to guide married couples and their families with listening and understanding heart, just as Jesus did. We pray, Lord of love, hear our prayer. May those who are in public office create programs that help families develop mutual love and understanding without compromising human dignity. We pray, Lord of love, hear our prayer. May the leaders of our nation speak out bravely against evil that destroys the dignity of human person and conservation of the world. We pray, Lord of love, hear our prayer. May married couples who are having difficulties in their relationships be able to reach out to each other so that they may grow in faithfulness and love. We pray, Lord of love, hear our prayer. May all those who are suffering for the sake of gospel find hope and healing in the loving care of Jesus. We pray, Lord of love, hear our prayer. May the dead attain the eternal vision of heaven so that they may gain the future resurrection. We pray, Lord of love, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community in our personal intentions. We pray, Lord of love, hear our prayer. Loving Father, strengthen the bonds of love that keep us together as one family in Christ. May this love be manifested in our words and in deeds. We ask this through Christ our Lord. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Please to redeem us, Lord. Amen. And with your spirit. Truly right and just are you.
and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty eternal god for in you we live and have our being while in this body we not only experience daily effects of your care but now possess the pledge of life eternal for having received the first fruit spirit whom raised up jesus dead we hope for an everlasting share in the Pascha. With all the angels and the saints, we praise you and we thank you as we now pray. Full of your glory. Amen. <clears throat> Where two or three are gathered together in, I am in the brothers wherever you are, wherever you go, wherever is happening. Welcome the Lord. Welcome him heart, home. Welcome him into. Welcome. indeed spirit come upon this body and blood time he was betrayed broke it take this all of you Their way once more gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this cup of mine, pour it out. Memory. Mystery of faith. Eat this bread. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and rest, offer you, Lord, life giving bread, the chalice of giving thanks that you tell this presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bless of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Nestor, all the bishops, clergy, religious. Remember to Lord our departed relatives. Pray for all victims of COVID. Pray for frontliners, health workers, essential workers, and all who sacrifice their lives for others. Bring them and all that departed to the light of your friends. Have mercy on us all, make us worthy to share the Virgin, Apostles, Martyrs, and all your saints who have done you. May we praise you, them, glory to your Son, through him and with him, and in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours. Ever and Amen. Ladies and brothers, together we surrender the past. Ever have the past.
render the present moment and the future ahead of us. Be the trust, render everything our Father. Father, deliver us from all evil and grant us, keep us free from sin, protect us from all anxiety as you wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your Father, God, but on the faith of your children, us of your kingdom, live forever and may the peace of the Lord be with you. you all, wherever you are, wherever you go, have that peace. No, whatever problem, pains, sickness, suffering, you have Christ with That to one another now, peace, joy, Karanghe, Kamsa, congratulations. God. Lamb of God. Bow your heads in prayer, my dear brothers and sisters, be joining us now on this divine mass. Lord is with you. Yes. Always in all ways. Thank you, Lord. Salamat po. Sorry, Lord. Kawad. Please help us, Lord. Too long. Need you. Stay with us. You are our strength, our hope. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Behold him, loves us, leads us, fights. Happy and grateful banquet of the Lamb. Body in the blood of Christ ever.
Bow your heads. Lord, I desire so much to receive you sacramentally. Now, for now, please come to my heart spiritually. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your love. Open my heart and I live my life for your healing. Oh God, this moment, I'd like to pray for our brothers and sisters who are suffering, those who are in pain, those who are sick, those who labor just to breathe. Lord, please be with them. We believe in miracles, Lord. Give us miracles. And may all the suffering lead us closer to you. Bring us back to you. This whole world is suffering. We pray for people who are emotionally burdened. Almost two years. Pandemic. Pray for those who hope, become so anxious, worried, people are giving into hopelessness, anger, patience. Come, Holy Spirit, Panginoon, tuwan po niyo kami sa aming mga pinagdadaanan, bigat, na nawubigyan niyo kami ng liwana, Panginoon, also pray for healing mga ugali namin masama mga pag-iisip at pananaw na mapagsarili mayabang yes in free this world from the darkness of COVID-19 stay with us Heal us. Carry our mother. Are our mother. We are your children. Defend and protect us. Session. Father. Heal our land. Our beloved country, the Philippines. Mahawa po kayo, Panginoon. Bless us. Bless us. Good leader. Bless us, Lord. Unity. Bless this world so wounded. 19. Amen, Lord. Dear friends, thank you very much for the final blessing. Don't forget, um, rosary, the month of the rosary. I'm glad there are some people, you know, pandemic, ang nagawa lang nila, making them have sent Father Ginawa. You know, and you know, I've, I've been giving a bus for the Lord in me. Like that, all of them. All. And oh, October 4 is the Saint Francis of Sisi. Anong message? Tinatay? Abago na. Well, and last thought. Third couple, oh, yung chopsticks, ha? Anong lesson? Pag hindi bless kasi, parang patatag, marupok ang You with the sacrament of marriage. Ah.
hawak-hawak kayo. Get that? It's the Lord who holds. Hold on to the Lord, especially at times you don't even want to. At paano mo paghawak ng chaps? Lesson. Paghawak po ng chaps. May bit. Mas bansan. Sa... Pwede din masyadong mal... Loose you. Fall apart. Tama lang. That's right. Learn that. Another... magamit po tayo ng chapstick sa lang gumagalaw. One is moving. The other one is steady lang. Galit yung isa. Saan yung isa? Husband. Ah, ano sa the wife? Basta, huwag sasaba. Okay? Another lesson. Pantay ang chapstick. Ang hirap gamit. What do you do? Adjust. Patient. Ilang. Finally, the son of the chopstick is don't chop victory. God has brought you. Your friends, now pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may rest. Nourish by the sacrament which we have received, transform into what Ask this, Lord, be with you. Bow your heads. Again, husbands and wives, could you please hold each other's hands or raise each other in you? Grateful for the presence of God in your family. God is our loving Father. All gratefully, joyfully, humbly, Father and the Son, Masses and love, serve the Lord, joy, humility. Thanks. to